What's up everyone and welcome to another video and today I want to talk about an update that was announced a few days ago when it comes to the lives of P. I know that I'm late talking about this, but at the time when the announcements were made, I was in the middle of making my comparison video, so I've had to go back and make some revisions so that I can be as accurate as possible when making my comparisons. While this game is absolutely amazing, it is no surprise that this game does have its flaws. And with that being said, the director has heard and is actively working on the problems that people have had with this game, showing the passion for delivering a more enjoyable experience. So let's go ahead and get into the announcement. So a few days ago, the director of The Lies of P, Choi Ji Won, put out a video called The Director's Letter, which highlights some of the player's concerns, offers gifts to the players, and plans moving ahead for the current game and the franchise as a whole. One of the first things that he addressed is how certain blades don't do what some expect them to do when combined with certain handles. With that being said, the plans to fix this are to tweak certain weapons so that players can actually feel the full extent of the weapons that they assemble. They also plan to make the beginning of the game a tad easier by giving us the rising dodge instead of having to unlock it from the P organ, and two more courts are being added to Polandia's shop. This may not seem like a lot, but after my first playthrough, I can tell you that the shovel puppet he addressed is rather problematic. And while I felt a small sense of achievement defeating the first one, I can say I'll take anything to shorten that encounter. Up next, we have a gift of Alidoro's costume, mask included, the alchemist hat, and a new pair of glasses. And on top of that, we will have the ability to wear more than one facial accessory with one more head slot being added on. Now, I found this interesting because I didn't even notice that you couldn't wear hats with glasses until he pointed that out. And well, it wasn't one of the things that I was concerned about because I wore masks for some of the playthrough. Nevertheless, you as the player should be able to customize your character however you want him to look and this adds on more of that personal feel now let's talk about their roadmap as far as releases goes with the first being a soundtrack release featuring 60 tracks from the game i personally plan on getting this because there are certain scores that i absolutely love one of them being the first half of the puppet king's boss fight the next announcement of course is for the players who played Wo Long, who recently got a Lies of P weapon to add on to their collection, stating that they are working on a collaboration with Team Ninja. Now, crossovers are pretty common in the games industry, but I'm extremely curious to see how the Lies of P story mixes with Wo Long. I mean, the two have certain similarities that I think could make for an excellent story, assuming that that is what they're working on as far as collaborations go. And the final announcement talks about what we've all been waiting to hear about, and that is DLC. As of right now, they're in the concept art stages for the DLC, which the director shows a couple of pieces for. The first depicts some type of machinery, and the second shows a ship with bodies draped over the masts. It makes me wonder if they plan to do something Souls or Bloodborne-like and send us to a part of the past. I say that because with the two pictures he showed, one could easily speculate that this could be the very beginning of the puppet frenzy. The first picture could have something to do with the alchemist, and the second could be a ship that the settlers were trying to use during the puppet frenzy and they lost their lives trying to escape. From what little was shown, there's a lot of speculation to be had after playing through the base game. Now, we can expect the updates listed at the beginning sometime this month, but as far as the soundtrack, Wolong collaboration, and the DLC goes, we don't yet have a time frame for the release. However, it can be noted that they are looking for people to hire to work on the DLC, so it might be a little ways off. Either way, I'm ready for whatever they are working on, and I hope that things run smoothly for them. And I'm glad that they are listening to their player base. That shows that even though they came out with an amazing game that deserves to be in the talks for the game of the year, they know that there is always room for, to improve. Now, me personally, one thing I would love to see added, and this may take some work, but I would love to see some type of co-op or PVP added. That might sound like a lot, I just think that games like this should be played with others. Another thing that would be interesting is that if costumes added on small attributes. However, the cost of this probably would go against the last patch in terms of challenge. 
Well, that's it for this video, but let me know what you think about everything that was announced. I did have the first comparison video planned to release this past week, but with these announcements, I had to make corrections and it's going to take me a little while to complete. I'm also working on a boss ranking, so that's going to take me a little while as well, seeing as I'm trying to multitask with videos. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. You all be easy and I'll see you next time.